At this point, you, have, you should have all of your positive and negative shapes stacked together just um, in the correct order that they need to be. And you're gonna start assembling your negative shapes first. So here's my stack. I'm gonna peel off, I'm gonna kind of set this to the side, and I'm gonna take off the first layer, the top layer, and turn it upside down. So do not forget to do that. Kind of put the rest off to the side. You don't just slide it off, you have to take it off, turn it upside down. Each piece for the negative shapes, the positive shape's gonna be a little bit different, but you're getting four popsicle sticks. So even, this is my smallest or skinniest area. I'm gonna have to glue so four will, will work for everyone. So a skinny line of glue all the way down and you're just gonna glue one piece on each side. Again, just make sure it's a skinny line of glue. You don't want it really thick because this could turn messy really fast if you have just glue kind of spilling out of every popsicle stick that you're using. This is also going to help flatten it. Right now, they all have a fold down the middle, but when the popsicle sticks, they're kind of flattening that fold, then it's gonna help straighten it. You might have to kind of push, especially on the folds, kind of make sure it doesn't pop up after you press it down. All right, last one. It shouldn't be touching the edge of the paper. It should be pretty close. You should have a little bit of a space in between. You don't want to see the popsicle sticks at all. All right, so now that all four of them are glued on one piece, you're going to put another line of glue on the other side. So another skinny line of glue. Right, and then here's my stack right here. I'm gonna take the next paper and then again, flip it over. You might wanna kinda strain it out because you really wanna get these matched up well. You don't want, you wanna kinda lay it down in the right space the first time without having to slide it or adjust it too much. So make sure you're, these are the same size papers. It shouldn't be difficult to get the corners lined up. Once you see that the corners are lined up, then you can go ahead and press down on the popsicle sticks all the way around. You can still slide, it's still not dry, so you can slide it around if you need to. All right, then you repeat that same step Put four popsicle sticks down, your line of glue first, and they're gonna kind of be in the same spot all the way throughout for this stack. So I'll just finish this one up real quick, but even the small one where you have the tiny cutout, your last piece, it's still, you have a lot of, a lot more thickness around it, but you're still just gonna have those four popsicle sticks on the edge, in the middle of each side. All the way around. Make sure, definitely like give them a, you might even want to hold it a few seconds, press it down and hold it. Because the paper is gonna try to push it up. So just kind of hold it in place a few seconds. And then another line of glue. Again, you don't want to rush this part. This project is a lot about good craftsmanship, doing a nice, neat job. You don't have to rush through it. Some of your popsicle sticks might not be perfectly straight. 
this one looks like it's not even touching on this underneath this part of it it's all right okay here's my stack again here we go taking that next layer off flipping it over and gluing it kind of hovering it until it looks about right adjust it as you need to and then press down So I'm going to stop there on that one, do that for all the rest. So you can see this is what it's going to look like when you turn it over. You see the, the nice spaces, the shadows in between. So it looks like it has form, it's not just flat. All right, so put that off to the side. Okay, these pieces. All right, positive shapes. You, you are still going to start from the bottom. But this is um, what you're going to do. So starting from the bottom, going to the top, but I need this one down. You're always going to put your sticks on the smaller piece because if you try to put them here on the bigger piece and guess where your smaller piece is going to hit, you might see some sticks sticking out. So leaving my bottom piece, I'm flipping this over. And this is the one I might just Take these off to the side. This is the one that I'm going to put the sticks on. So it's going to go like this. The fold is like a book. So it's going to, this is how it should lay when it's finished. But I want to put it on the back side, the sticks. So I would say, um, I would say two would be fine. If you put two diagonal sticks, because your size paper is not going to be much larger than this for your largest one. So I think something like this would be fine. So make sure you're on the back side of your piece and you're gluing it onto the back side of the smaller piece that's going to go onto the big piece. I don't think you should need more than two for each one. And when it gets smaller and smaller, you'll eventually just need one. So there's two. Press it down. Another line of glue. Flip it over, make sure there's nothing to line up here. So you just wanna make sure it's centered. The fold should be inside the fold of the other paper or lined up with it. Once that looks good and center, then press down on where you have those popsicle sticks. All right, so here's my stack again. There we go. Um, and I'm turning that over. So this is the back side of my next. This does not want to. It's okay if it's not, if you have some areas that are lifting up a little bit, because again, you want these to be a little more three-dimensional. You don't want them to look too flat. So I'm just gonna make sure, just double check before you start gluing them, that it's still big enough to fit the popsicle sticks, because eventually if it gets too small, you're going to have to start um, breaking them. And it's okay if they're not in the same position. So this is still gonna work for this one and maybe even the next one. But if it gets too small where I have to, and you could also do it this way too. Um, if you can fit two sticks, however you can fit them, it's okay if it switches up for each shape. But eventually, like I said, if you need to just snap one in half um, to make it fit, especially for the little one, then you can go ahead and do that. But so I would just, again, put up my line of glue on these two sticks. I'm gonna to stick to the diagonal, it kind of covers more space, I think, for this one. Put the glue on top, flip it over, glue it down, go back to my pile, flip it over, take that next, and as long as you're just making sure you get the next smallest size and that you're putting the popsicle sticks on the back side, not the front side that looks like a book, inside of a book, this side, you should be good.